I mean, this year has been a, a good year for uh, fintech, particularly uh, the challenger banks. The challenger banks have suddenly started to grow their client base. They're offering some really innovative user interface based products. So giving, uh, giving consumers a much better choice out there for who they would want to do their banking with. I think on the payment front, the movement towards more instant payments, not just in the UK, but around Europe and in other parts of the world has uh, really picked up pace. And I think it's also quite interesting this year that the realization that the blockchain type developments need to be more real world has uh, certainly um, started to take off and you've seen a lot of uh, very innovative solutions around the blockchain methodology rather than blockchain itself. So we've, from the right from the get-go, we've been a company that majors on having an API. And I would say during the last 12 months, the take-up of our API has accelerated significantly. So our, our volumes are 10 times more now uh, than they were when we started in our first year. We're now in our eighth year, we do 10 times more validations through the API. Um, and we see that will quadruple next year based on the client base that we have. So within the API, we've added a lot more granularity country by country. So no longer do we just uh, validate in some of the more uh, uh, exotic countries where it's more difficult to make payments. We do uh, local clearing, we do bank to bank clearing. Uh, we had a significant uplift in our uh, data content. So it's been a, a very busy year for us and we've delivered a lot more functionality to our client base. Well, there's lots of uh, stuff that we're doing. Um, can't mention names, but we have uh, a couple of very interesting projects in the Swift GPI world uh, around validation and um, information around payments within GPI for our, for our client base. We have two projects in that area. We're also working closely with a number of UK institutions on confirmation of pay so that by um, July next year when there's a need to be able to confirm not just an account detail but a name um, we will be live with our solution in that with a, a number of clients within the UK and it's not just for the UK institutes it's any any company any bank any payment company that's making payments into UK institutions will be able to use our API to validate the name of a person as well as the account number and uh, bank code. From a purely selfish point of view, I think instant payments in the UK and around the world will accelerate uh, and help us with our, our product sales. I do see more of it of that happening in countries. You only have to read the news to see that different countries are now buying platforms to do uh, instant payments. I think um, the growth of the challenger banks is, is now I think they've, they've reached the top of the mountain and the snowball's starting to roll down the other side. So that's uh, very interesting for the incumbent players who've had the majority of customer accounts. That's started to be eroded. But I also see a fight back by the, the incumbent banks who are building their own versions of challenger banks and uh, going live with those over the next 12 months. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in, in that uh, area of the market. Payments in general is just growing and the means of making payments easier at, at point of sale to customers will continue to increase as well with new innovations coming out. Who, kn who knows what's gonna happen in the next 12 months. Something will come along and it could be the next Uber of payments. So always very exciting. <laughs>